Good though, these are like the smaller pieces that I like to buy. Um, this was before I started making my own fireworks. Um, but I have rockets separated and Roman candles. These are just pretty much, like I said, the small stuff. So uh, I'll try to keep it short. Um, so these, I only have two left, the gyro jets. I actually make these now, so that's why I only have two. I tore one apart to look inside and see how it looks, kind of get a better idea. So then I made my own. Um, I do have smoke, but like you see in my other videos, I do make my own smoke too. So I have a five minute smoke that I haven't used yet. I don't want to use it just yet. I'm going to keep it. Uh, sky bacon, assorted smoke, color smoke. I do like that. I, I have the stuff to make it. Um, I also bought a pack of these bombing planes. Now these, there's two different types, but because they're making fireworks much cheaper these days, they're not putting a report in there. It's essentially a little bit of crackle mix. So I started taking the crackle out and either putting a report in there or uh, just, you know, taking the crackle out and putting something else in there. Let's see. I have another pack of the bombing bomber planes. These don't have the little lady fingers on the wings. So these are the same thing as these up here, which are essentially just a spinner with a little bit of crackle. I'm trying to separate what I have over here because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, I have, I want to say, yeah, I have a lot of these actually. I'll bring them all out. It's been a while since I do, or I've checked my stuff. I kind of like doing a little inventory of my stuff just to see. Uh, but these I bought while I was in Georgia. I was stationed over there. And interestingly, the Kroger used to sell these. I think they were a dollar for a pack of four. I ended up buying a lot, but over the years I started using them, so I'm pretty much running out. I know I've seen Barbecue Randall make a video on those. Uh, I like those, they're not too bad. Uh, these here, the Sky Bacon Space Flyers, these are actually really cool. There's no report or anything, it just flies straight up, but it spins and flies in the air. I do like the aerials. Um, I just haven't bought like the big shells and stuff like that. Um, the crackling salute same thing TNT brand. I mean, they're decent. They're not like, you know World-class or anything, but TNT brands decent. I just have two packs of the crackling salutes a little cheap uh, Mr. W firework. It's more of a Texas thing um, a little missile battery I did buy a box of the crackling balls uh, cutting edge but I noticed that the new and improved version, which is what this box says it is, new and improved, it says it somewhere. Uh, it doesn't have actual crackle in it, but what they're doing is they're pressing it into a, uh, like a little puck. And that's supposed to be the new and improved. Uh, these actually are the ones that I bought, the cheaper brand, but these actually have the little crackling balls in there, which I do like better than the cutting edge ones. So... I only take those apart and I add them into, you know, um, as a report or something like that. Um, or rather as an effect, because there's not really much you can do with those, except for little pops here and there. Um, I also have a little bit of jumping jacks left. I'm actually running out. I used to have a lot more than this, but as I've been using them here and there, I'm starting to run out. Um, I have... Three, four, five, six, about six and a half left of these uh, speed balls. These are really nice. I like these. They spin in the air and they make that whistling sound. So these, I actually had a box of these and this is what I have left for these. And then I'm going to show you what else I have over here, which I have a lot of these spinning fireworks. So I have two boxes of the jumbo jumping jacks, which are essentially those. As you can see, the speed balls in here. I have them mixed in here, but it's two boxes of those. These things spin in the air, same thing. They're just labeled differently, but they all do the same thing. And I do like having these. I bought a lot of these when I had a chance. And now that I have the tools to make stingers, I can actually make these too. But two boxes of the jumbo jacks, obviously the speed balls, and then a full box of the twister sticks which is, I think it's, yeah, 24 bags. There's six each in there. Twister sticks, same as these. 
just like I said, they're all just labeled or named differently, but I do like these. They spin, they're really cool. Um, let's see, a uh, brick of ground bloom flowers. There's mixes in here. There's crackling type, regular type. These I started out with making my spinners with. They go in the air. I like using these because they were, they already come with flash, uh, colored flash, which is faster than black powder, and it gives it that faster spin. Um, I like using these ground blooms for that, but another pack of those. Yeah, ground bloom flower. Uh, I have a few packs of these Mighty Crackers and uh, Micro Dynamites. These, they're pretty loud. I do like them. Um, they work well, but... I actually made a couple of these with uh, flash powder. It's aluminum and potassium perchlorate. And these, they're filled. They're just not uh, fused or anything yet. Or some of them are not. Uh, these are super loud. Like these, I believe I put 10 grams of flash, maybe like five or six, but I'm pretty sure it was 10 because I was experimenting. These only have like 0.5 or something, very, very little bit, but they're loud. So you can imagine the sound of these. And especially with these little guys having like point something of a gram, these are a lot louder. Um, I don't use them that much because they sound extremely loud and I don't want people thinking, you know, that I'm shooting a gun or something. But signal flares, I do like these as well. Uh, but as you can see in my other videos, I've been making, or I, I just started making that. Uh, single day parachute, sky bacon. One, two, I have five of them. And then I ended up buying some Boomer double parachute nighttime. So these guys have a little flare on them, I believe, which I do like at night. Um, the during the day ones like these, I already took one apart because I was going to start trying to make it better. Inside of here, it was just flash powder with the disc, or I'm sorry, uh, lift powder. And then, as you can see right there, there's a little bit of lift powder right there. Uh, it's a little fuse. And that little fuse goes into a plug, and then there's a little bit of black powder in there, which ejects the parachute. Uh, I wanted to kind of increase the black powder there to get a little bit more height. A uh, little baby tank. Uh, this one, I think it just shoots little sparks and stuff. I'm not too sure. I just kept it because I like the way it looks. Um, pretty much the rest of these are just Green Storm TNT. Uh, fountains these I only paid a dollar each so I ended up buying a lot more than this um, But I started using them over the time. So then I started running out And then you know just the standard little Morning glories. I use those to fill like little tiny fireworks such as like uh, uh, What is it like a flare or something? I, I use it for that. I Have a few of these left the artificial satellites uh, these I still ramp up a little bit. I just uh, take out some of that clay in there and then I end up putting more black powder in there and making them a little bit better. So I can get twice the height. Little cheap camellia flowers. Not a lot of people like those, but I like them. They're pretty fun. The flashing fountain. I believe these have the same thing as a flare, but with a little bit of crackle in it. Got uh, two boxes of the magic whips. These I'm probably going to take apart um, and, and scavenge the uh, crackle from those. Uh, these little helicopter bees, I do like uh, making them better, so that's why I bought them. And then the last thing I have is about five boxes of these little sliders. These, they're pretty cool. I mean, you could light them, but a lot of times they, they actually work better when you light them. If you want to use your foot and scratch them around, across the ground, they make that little crackling pa uh, sound. And they work pretty good. I like them, so I bought 10 boxes. And as you can see, I'm already down because I like using them. Um, I have a couple packs of these flares. They're not really fireworks, but I do like using them at night. When it's super dark and I'm lighting fireworks, uh, just the feel and the look of having a red glow next to you. I just like it in the middle of the night. So I like flares. Um, I'm still trying to work on a formulation to make my flare mix burn slower. Uh, I know these use sawdust, you know, potassium or strontium nitrate, stuff like that. But I, I mine still burns too fast, so I just need to see if I can get it to burn a little bit slower. 
anyways this was just a little video on some of the fireworks that i have um, these i'm going to keep for a while only because i don't really burn a lot of them off only because i've been making them but it's just nice to have a little stash just in case i ever want to light some stuff off anyways i'll do another video for my rockets and my roman candles and anything else that i have anyway thanks for watching